So good morning. If uh, you're not joining me live, this is where you bear with me while we just wait to go live. <clears throat> so we're going to find a little bit of balance today in our practice. So good morning. Anita, again. Good on you. Okay, good morning. Um, so a little bit of balance today and I thought we'd go straight in to see how that makes you feel. So we're going to come to standing. Just take a moment just to feel your feet on the ground and maybe just pick up your toes. Bring a bit of weight into your heels, into the balls of your feet. See if you can spread your toes and then release them, come up onto your toes, lift the heels, start straight into a balance there. So if you can wake your feet up, take it back to the heels, pushing through the balls of the feet as well. So we're just lifting up the toes and back up onto the toes. And then sink your feet down into the ground. Give the shoulders a roll. See if you can lengthen up through the spine a little bit as the feet root down, little lift up through the waist. And we're going to come to our starting breath, but in tree pose. So we're going to bring the sole of the foot, it doesn't matter which foot, either below your knee, so toes are pointing down, or if you have the space up above the knee, so the heels kind of up towards the groin. So see which works for you. If your balance isn't great this morning, depends on the day, you can bring the toes to the floor and the heel of the foot to your ankle. So just choosing the shape that works for you. See if you can bring your hands together in prayer. If your balance is off, you can use a wall or a piece of furniture. But see if you can drop down through that standing foot, lengthen your waist, soften your gaze and notice your breath. See if you can take another two breaths. If you fall out, it's all good. Root down. And then see if you can take your arms out wide. Turn the palms to face up. Spread your fingers. Soften your shoulders. See if you can take the hands up overhead. Breathe in. As you breathe out, bring the hands down to your heart. And we're going to do it one more time. So take the arms out, palms up, relax your shoulders, open the chest, inhale, take it up. And as you exhale, bring the hands into your heart and then all the way to your hips. So if you can lift up that, whatever bent knee it is, bring it in through center and then take it down to the ground to just see if your leg is working up. <laughs> Give it a little shake. Okay, and we'll go straight to the other leg. So notice you probably picked your best leg first, I normally do. So remember, so there's no contact onto the standing knee. So your foot's either below or right up above, so heel towards the groin. So see which works for you, what your hips feel like, or the option to have the heel resting on the ankle with the toes on the ground, okay. So see how it feels, see if you can bring your hands together in prayer. If you're super wobbly, like push into an imaginary wall or an actual wall, they're our friends. See if you can lengthen your waist, so we don't wanna dump down. So we're pushing down through that standing foot, but lifting the rest of the body away. Softening your gaze, just focusing on something, not moving. Relax your shoulders. If you can take a couple of breaths in stillness, maybe, maybe you're moving. And then we're going to take the arms in the opposite direction. So we're going to take the fingers upwards with an inhale. And as you exhale, palms are going to go downwards. Big circle. And as you inhale, bring the palms to touch and take them upwards. And as you exhale, Take them out, bringing them into your heart. 
and then down to the hips. See if you can lift that bent knee upwards and in, squeeze it in and then lower to the ground. Oh, and give that standing leg, I feel like my right leg today. Give the legs a shake. Okay, and then just come to have the feet hip distance apart again, toes facing forwards, hands onto the hips. We're gonna step your uh, right foot behind your left and you can take it quite big. I always like to think like an ice skater. So a nice big step round. And if you stay up on the ball of that foot, the toes of that foot, a little bit of buoyancy, a little softness into the knees and take the arms up. And we're gonna keep the right arm up and let the left arm come down and take a little side bend. So you should just feel that in that hip as well. Should feel nice after that standing pose. So if you can find a little bit more space in your waist, in your ribs, and send your breath there, relax your shoulders. Let's take one more breath. And as you exhale, take the arms up, step out and bring the hands down. Give the shoulders a roll, and we take it the other side. So start with your feet hip distance, feel your feet on the ground, and then step your left foot behind. So we're up on the ball of that foot, little softness into the knees, let the hips drop down. Inhale, take both arms up, find the length. And as you exhale, right fingertips down and a little lean over to the left side. Feel that stretch in your waist, your ribs, and maybe down in the outside edge of that hip. Relax your shoulders and send your breath into the left side of your body. And one more. And then take it up, take the arms up, step it out, bring the hands to your hips. And then we're gonna step the feet wide. Let's bring the toes slightly in, heels slightly out. Make sure you've got a, a decent stance. So a little softness in your knees. So root your feet down, maybe just pick up the toes again and then place them down, a little lift up through the inner arch. And lift up, so think Wonder Woman pose. Was it last week I was doing this? Love a Wonder Woman pose, a little power pose. So a little bit of weight down through your hands, a little weight through your feet. Lift up through the chest and then soft knees start to hinge it forwards. Trying to keep the bum in line with the heels so the chest is coming forward. Bring a little softness into your knees and come to about halfway. And then chin to the chest, round yourself up. And exhale, hands heavy into the hips. I'm gonna do that again. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge it forwards halfway. So we're thinking up and over, trying to keep the bum in line with the heels. Find that halfway point, a little softness into your knees. And then draw the chin into the chest. Roll yourself up to standing, the head comes up last. Do it one more time, so inhale, lengthen, and exhale, hinge it forwards. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, chin to the chest, roll up the spine, the head comes up last. Okay, and then this time we're gonna come a little bit lower. So maybe, see if you can heel toe the feet a little bit wider, but only if it feels comfortable. Push down through the feet, lift and lengthen, as you exhale, it's a little softness in the knees. Don't lock the knees out, start to hinge it forwards. And in this time, maybe you walk the hands down the legs. Maybe you bring your fingertips to the floor. But wherever you come to, can you let the head hang down? So let the weight of the head bring some space into the back of the neck, grounding down through the feet. And then maybe this time lift up through the inner arches and just start to lengthen the legs. And maybe if you feel more stable, you can bring a little bit of uh, sway. So testing your balance in a different way. Can you bring some movement into your shoulders? Maybe into your head and your, maybe your waist. So just be mindful. It can be quite big or it can be quite small, whatever feels good. Let's take another couple of breaths here.
And then come, if you're down on the ground, bring your fingertips up, lift the body halfway. And then everybody bring your hands to your hips. A little softness into the knees, chin to the chest. We roll it up. And once you get there, hands on the hips, Wonder Woman. Let everything settle back down. And then we're going to heel toe our feet together. Don't step out, you'll hurt your knees. So heel toe, your feet, oh, give the legs a stretch, a shake. Okay. And then bring the hands together. We're going to inhale, reach it up, lengthen through your spine, look up to your hands and exhale, bring it down to your heart. And do that one more time, inhale, reach it up. And exhale, bring it in. And we'll take a little side bend, so inhale up. Little side bend over to whatever side. Push through your feet, inhale, take that bottom arm up. And exhale to the other side. Inhale to bring it up. This time twist in the opposite direction. Bring both hands down. See if you can rotate your chest a little bit. Try and keep the hips forwards. Inhale, take both arms up. And exhale, twist in the opposite direction. Bringing it back up through center. Exhale, bring hands to your heart. An option, you can finish in a balance with me if you want to. So coming back to a tree pose, or you can have both feet on the floor. We'll take three breaths on each leg. And you can have the hands in prayer, or you can grow your branches, but rooting down through the standing leg. Draw that knee in and lower it, and let's take the other knee out. Growing tall. Shoulders relaxed. Notice your breath. Feel a stillness, maybe. And bring that knee in. Take it down, both feet on the ground. Hands resting at the heart. Notice how you feel. Take something positive into your day. And we bow the head to the hands, the mind to the body. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, have a gorgeous day and I hopefully see you tomorrow. Cheers.